हेलो मैं सेफ डॉक्टर दिनेश अन पाटिल वेलकम टू माय चैनल डिजिटल फॉरेंसिक्स फॉर बिगिनर्स इन दिस वीडियो व्हिच इज टाइटल्ड एज ब्लॉकचेन एप्लीकेशन इन डिजिटल फॉरेंसिक्स वी विल सी द एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ द द ब्लॉकचेन टेक्नोलॉजी इन प्रोवाइडिंग द प्रोटेक्शंस टू द इंफॉर्मेशन द डिजिटल एविडेंस दैट हैव बीन एक्सट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम द सोर्स ऑफ डिजिटल एविडेंस सो टू बिगिन विथ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट एक्चुअली इज द ब्लॉकचेन टेक्नोलॉजी blockchain is a digital ledger of transaction that is distributed and maintained across a network of computers so it is uh, not stored this uh, the ledger of transaction it is not stored on a centralized location but it is distributed and maintained across a network of computers so in a particular blocks uh, a particular blockchain consists of number of blocks which are chained together and each block maintains a digital ledger of transactions the same copy is available in all the blocks which are part of the blockchain so in a particular block it is not necessary that we should have a, only the digital ledger of transaction but uh, we can have any other details specific case uh, specific to the particular application for which the application the blockchain application uh, blockchain technology have been used so using the I mean storing the digital ledger of transaction for the earlier applications of the blockchain technology now the days there are many different kinds of applications of the blockchain technology are being used where the many details are being very a uh, detail specific to the applications are being stored in a particular block so a particular blockchain provide the security to the information how it is being provided because Uh, once uh, uh, information is stored in a particular block, it cannot be altered by anyone. If you want to update or you want to change any contents in a particular block, a new block is required to be created, and that particular block is required to be mined or required to be added to the particular chain of block. But the existing block it cannot be changed. Another thing associated with a block is that once whatever the information that we can store in a particular block it uh, on that particular block uh, the information uh, hash is computed and this particular hash it cannot be changed so in order to maintain the integrity of the information in a particular block uh, so this particular hash plays an important role and all the blocks are being linearly connected and they are being cryptographically secure so means what of the information that we are having in a particular block it is uh, being encrypted form so suddenly uh, without the permission without uh, decrypting that information we won't be able to access that particular information so that way we are providing the security to the particular information in the particular blockchain so this is the view of a particular blockchain that is visible on your screen so we can see the number of blocks and they have been chained together now what actually is a a particular block consist of a particular block consist of many two fields one is the header part another is the body part in the header part we are having the many fields the important fields are specified here as part of the header part one is a hash uh, of the previous block so a particular uh, a particular block maintains the hash of the previous block so certainly we require to have a chain of the block and this particular hash of the previous block plays an important role in establishing the chain of the the blocks then the time stamp so this particular time stamp gives the details about at which the particular time a particular block was being mined and the nonce so this particular place a particular in order to compute the hash okay on a particular and the details the transaction related details or any other details that is available in a particular block so this particular plays an important role in that in computing the particular the hash that is to be obtained on the current transaction details available in a particular block then there is a merkel root so the merkel root maintains the the infor actually it is a, a root of a particular merkel tree so the merkel tree is shown here so where we are having the number of transaction which are the leaf node of that particular tree like tx1 tx2 and like this. these are the transaction 
and on each trend transaction the hash is computed and like this the combining operation goes on okay h1 h2 they are combined together and again the hash is come obtain on that and finally whatever the root that we obtain at the top of that particular merkle root merkle tree is a merkle root so that merkle root is also kept as part of the header part so we can traverse uh, that particular merkle uh, ro uh, root through that particular merkle root we can get a widget uh, we can get the details about each and every hash information about each transaction details uh, so like this uh, we can see that a particular uh, header part uh, maintains the metadata about a particular block and the actual data that is being kept in a particular transaction in a header block is kept in the body part so we can maintain the number of uh, information or number of transaction details in a particular block it depends on the how much information uh, one can store the particular block can store in a particular block itself so this way we can create a, a particular block and these blocks are chained together based on the hash values okay so the, all the blocks are blocks are chained together and for that purpose the hash of the previous block plays an important role now how we we'll see uh, how the blockchain is helpful in the, the digital forensics there are certain instances are there where the blockchain technology have been used in order to store the digital forensic related information uh, so there are four stages of the chain of the custody uh, when whenever the digital evidences or the source of digital evidences are going to be uh, handled by many persons so now uh, whenever that uh, particular source of evidence is going to be handled certain details are required to be maintained okay so as part of the chain of the custody so those details can be stored in a blockchain so certainly uh, no one can alter that particular details once it is stored in a particular blockchain so where we can use this particular technology like when the samples are received whenever a particular uh, the the source of evidence they are getting getting received so that details we can store in a blockchain when the case is assigned to an investigator so the details of the particular investigator can also be maintained in a particular blockchain then finalizing the report so that time also we can uh, the store the details in a blockchain and also when that particular uh, the report is being dispatched so to the uh, it is to be presented in the court of the law so at that time also the blockchain can help now this uh, during this particular chain of the custody where we are maintaining we can store the details uh, about uh, the evidence and the people who are handling those evidence uh, so those details are maintained in a particular blockchain certainly if the attacks happens on this particular blockchain uh, certainly it cannot be they won't be able to access or they won't be able to uh, even though they will be able to access they won't be able to pick, uh, alter the any information because the blockchain once the information is kept in a block it cannot be altered that is the property associated with the blockchain so certainly this is going to be helpful in maintaining the uh, integrity of the information in the blockchain suppose someone wants to alter some information in the block uh, let's say the the details about some digital evidences that have been extracted by certain digital investigator so that can be in that in that case is required to create the attacker is required to create a new block and in that new block is required to maintain the details the altered details so but the original details will remain intact and uh, so certainly it can be helpful uh, in order to uh, prove the authenticity of the evidence itself so this way the blockchain can be helpful let's say you have uh, another is about the finalizing of the report whenever the report is being created so there is a possibility that on the way or somewhere in between uh, before it is being presented in front of the court of the law the report itself may be altered by someone uh, some malicious person so that also we can prevent by maintaining the details about the final finding uh, which is in the in the blockchain, so that uh, we can have the authenticity of that particular report and it can be checked any time. 
because the blockchain can be accessed by anyone who are the, having the access to that particular blockchain network they can have access to the particular blockchain network at any point of time and from anywhere so what are the benefits of having a blockchain technology is uh, the the first advantage the record of events cannot be altered at any stage and because if there is someone try to alter or attempt to tamper with the record and we can have the settings such as the authorized person of that evidence are going to be notified so that is one of the the the, the facility one can have in the blockchain and uh, so that is what i said just now that to make a change a new block is required to be created in the blockchain but for creating a new block it takes efforts okay and it is not going to be done easily so certainly someone is trying to alter something or attack is happening on the evidence so certainly it can be detected so that is one of the advantage of having uh, the blockchain technology so what are the security concerns that we can have uh, with the blockchain technology when we are maintaining the details about the digital forensics or maybe of certain case related to the digital forensic uh, uh, perspective the first thing is about the, the hacking someone uh, there is a possibility of blockchain itself may be hacked uh if they are not properly secured another is about a lack of anonymity some blockchains are not given I mean, they are anonymous who is the users or they are not generally known to any other persons uh, in that network so that is uh, another kind of a security concerns and the scalability that means uh, some of the blockchains are not scalable means how much information they can maintain in a particular block so they are having some limitations so these are some of the security concerns associated with the use of the blockchain technology so how we can address this security concern by implementing a strong encryption technique so what are the information that we are maintaining in the particular block it certainly is required to be encrypted by using the strong encryption algorithms then certainly even if suppose someone gain access to some of the information on the block so it can not be decrypted by the particular attack uh, then another is about adopting a decentralized arch architecture to increase the security of the network so we should have the decentralized architecture so that the security of the network itself can be increased then uh, incorporating the multi party computation and secure multi party computation technique to increase the privacy and the security so this also can be included uh, then regularly up updating the software and protocols to address any new security threat so this is also important that updating what the the protocols are up, uh, in case of blockchain they are required to be updated uh, finding out the vulnerability and then modifying the uh, means uh, plugging that loopholes it is also important and educating the the users who are the users of the blockchain uh, so that they can follow the best practice uh, of the blockchain technology so these are the the means the whatever the security concern and they can be addressed by implementing these particular points so thanks for watching the whole video on the this particular digital forensic uh, domain so if you like this particular video uh please uh, click on the subscribe button to see the future videos or to get a notification for the future videos on the digital